Why do we do anything ever? Success, money, and attention are all byproducts of being content. But what we should all be chasing is being fulfilled. We don't do enough for self-fulfillment because honestly, we don't know what's gonna fulfill us most of the time. It's a hard thing to figure out. And we don't have enough time to sit around and think about it because, well. What are you doing today? I'm going to work. Why? To make money. Why? To buy food. Why? So I don't starve. Why? Because I'm afraid to die. There it is. Most of us don't have the capacity to be thinking about this all the time. So some of us turn to higher powers for answers. Say you're unfulfilled in your daily life. Say it's because of your job. No, I'm an orthopedist. Say it's because you were told over and over that you needed to get a good paying job as fast as possible. Say you went to college out of obligation and ended up in a career that you only kind of care about. I'm an orthopedist. But say you also didn't know what you would be doing otherwise because you were never afforded the opportunity to think about it. So, you turn to God. You go to church every Sunday. You find community there. Everyone keeps up with each other. You become a massive sports fan and find another community of strangers who wear the same colors as you and cheer at the same things happening on the field. For those of you who don't fit this archetype, maybe you join an adult dance class or make elementary videos on your cultural observations with your friends. As human beings, we need these things. Without structure, and especially without community, we have a lot more of a... Nah. We like to feel like we're part of something bigger than ourselves. It gives us a sense of belonging, a sense of purpose. You could be aimlessly navigating life every day, or you could live for God. And if you're in the stadium when your favorite team wins a game, you subconsciously feel somewhat responsible for that because you are there, along with a bunch of other people rooting for the same thing as you. Look around, look around you. Look at this. We created this. This didn't exist before we were here. Look around at the square. I promise you right now, we did this. The way that, um, the way that sound works is you guys are talking down there. Right. Two little short girls talking. I'm up here. I can't hear what y'all are saying. It's true. Right. Two little short girls talking. I'm up here. I can't hear what y'all are saying. It's true. I, I short girls talking. I'm up here. I can't hear what y'all are saying. It's true. I, I I agree. Say you're a struggling young creative person. You do just enough freelance work or have a day job to pay your bills, but that's it. You are getting by, barely, but you aren't excelling or accomplishing anything significant. You've hit a low adaptive peak, where you've figured out exactly what you need to do to get by, but you don't do anything more. On top of this being no way to succeed, it also brings motivation into question. Um, you know what, I really wanna make this example about something that's applicable in the real world. So say, say you're building a shelf. The proper way to do this is like a 26 step process that is technically very tedious, but it will get you a good shelf that lasts forever. You have to measure and level, and most importantly, use wall anchors to make sure your shelf doesn't fall. But why would you build a shelf correctly when you could just screw some shit into the wall? I mean, it gets the job done, but not well, and not for long. Your things technically have a place, you did it, but ugh, you know? But there's a reason we do this. Oftentimes, we don't have time to fit the things we want to be doing into the small window of time that we have. We're not afforded the opportunity to think about why we want things in a deeper way. We are performing an empty action with a very low ceiling we are installing for ourselves. I wish I didn't have so much pressure in my life and had more time to focus on this shelf. But if you didn't, if you just took a day and dedicated the amount of time and effort needed, then maybe, metaphorically, you'd have a good shelf. There's not one universal way to find fulfillment. It's different for everybody. And the only way to find it is to look inside yourself and listen to what your primal gut instinct is telling you to do. Then, hopefully, make as much time for it as you can. Life's hard. It makes sense to do what you need to do to get by. But when you're operating out of obligation, it means you're no longer operating out of desire. Sure, we have to do certain things, but once you start treating the things you want to do with obligation, then yeah, of, of course you're not fulfilled.